Jaguars chair and CEO Peter Kern joins us this morning in a first on CNBC interview. Peter, it's great to have you. You guys led the S&P on Friday. Um, I wonder if you think people have overdone their worry about the consumer in terms of travel. Uh, can you hear me, Carl? Sorry. Yeah, I got you. You got me? Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think consumer travel is still looking pretty good. Uh, obviously, uh, we saw a little bit of noise uh, we talked about in October, uh, which felt like a little bit of uh, fallout from what was going on in the Middle East. But that's kind of normalized, and the consumer still seems to be traveling, and we're seeing good demand really across the globe. I looked at some charts this morning, sort of gauging whether or not corporate is going to rebound the way uh, we were hoping uh, maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, are, you, are you frustrated at the degree to which corporate travel does not appear to be tracking leisure? Yeah, I mean, we're not as exposed to it, so we don't worry quite as much about it as we used to, but we definitely power a lot of corporate travel partners. Uh, and, you know, it hasn't come back, certainly, to the pre-pandemic trends in the same way that leisure has. Uh, and people are a little bit concerned about corporate travel in the back end of the year. And, uh, but, uh, but it's still pretty robust. And I think uh, for us, it doesn't make a huge difference. But, of course, we'd love to see more travel back. We'd love to see our partners in air and, and, and hotels, you know, doing better in that space. But there's been a lot to replace it, including, you know, much more premium leisure travel, uh, conferences are back, so we're seeing the conference business across the board. We hear it from our supply partners everywhere that that business is back. So I think it's the day-in, day-out corporate stuff, which certainly is a big business. Uh, we'd love to see it back at 100 percent, but it doesn't have a huge impact on our business. No sign of a slowdown, Peter. It, it's just interesting because Airbnb and I think booking both guided to deceleration in fourth quarter. Yeah, well, we have very different business profiles than some of our competitors. Uh, they've been quite exposed to Asia, uh, where we, frankly, haven't had as big exposure. Not that we wouldn't want exposure there, but uh, as we've seen the rebound in different geographies, what you've seen is the, the sort of uh, long-tenured uh, COVID rebounds. Like Asia was the last to come back. Latin America was a little later. So if you were really exposed to those as they came back, you had a nice boost and a good tailwind. But most places are starting to normalize now. We're much more highly exposed to the West, which normalized earlier. So we're much more excited about the work we've been doing to build our business, improve our technology, uh, you know, help our customers do better. And that's really starting to show in what we've been doing in our loyalty program, uh, our product, et cetera. So we're in a different spot. We're kind of coming up on things, whereas some of our competitors are normalizing post these tailwinds. What about VRBO? What does demand there look like, especially, you know, with, with Airbnb being more competitive? Yeah, well, VRBO had a great COVID, as you know, Verbo. Sorry, I said Verbo. it like you said it, but it's yeah. Verbo. Uh, I know, I know. I can't uh, keep track. You keep yeah. changing it. We got to stick on Verbo. <laughs> Verbo did, did great during COVID. We saw a little bit of a pullback post-COVID as people went to more cities uh, where Verbo has less, less product. But we have great product in cities, and we're trying to make sure consumers understand that. Uh, and we went through a big migration, which we've talked about, where we've put Verbo onto our main technology stack now, which we literally finished a few days ago. So we're really in a nice spot, we feel, there, where uh, the trends are, we believe, going to go our way. Uh, geopolitical unrest, ironically, usually helps things like Verbo, where people feel a little more comfortable in their own space. Uh, so if that continues, that will only help Verbo. Uh, and the product's improving. Uh, we have great supply. And, you know, Airbnb... They do great in shared spaces and other things we don't do. Again, I think that market has kind of topped out in big cities, et cetera. We'll see if that continues. And, and they're more exposed to the lower end of the market because of that, because those are inexpensive options, uh, whereas our whole home product tends to appeal to the middle, the middle market or upper market. And, uh, and we think there's a lot of opportunity there going forward.